Hey guys, the animation guy here and welcome to another video. Today I'm here to talk about VHS tapes and I'm here to do a VHS review. So when I was little, I grew up loving the Powerpuff Girls and I used to have the Bubble Vicious, Monkey See Doggy Do, Birthday Bash and Twisted Sister. But there's one VHS that I now really enjoy as an adult. And that VHS is the Powerpuff Girls Meet the Beatles, released in 2001 from Cartoon Network. And I've really grown to really like this tape. So this is going to be a video about me talking about the tape and, and why I've grown to really like it as an adult. So... This has some really good episodes on here, as you can see. So, I'm going to read you a little bit about the episodes, meaning Meet the Beatles. So, saving the world before bedtime. The girls take on their toughest crime-finding yet, as they battle the Fab Four of Townsville's evil villains, Mojo Jojo, Him, Princess, and Fuzzy Lumpkins. The villains join forces to become the Beatles, an unstoppable band of criminals. The Powerpuff Girls come up with a plan to destroy the band with, from within in a clever Punville adventure, spoofing those four lads from Liverpool. So yeah, all so basically, Mojo Jojo, Princess Morbucks, Fuzzy Lumpkins, and him decided to band together as you can see they're dressed like like the Beatles um and they try to destroy the Powerpuff Girls so it's up to the girls as you can see here um to save the day so yeah it's it's a little decent but it's enjoyable and we have Bought and Scold where Princess Morbucks becomes the mayor of Townsville and have crimes be not illegal. So the Powerpuff Girls have to stop Princess Morbucks at her best. To be honest, I am not a huge fan of Princess Morbucks. I mean, she's not really the best villain character in my opinion um, because she's very much like Angelica from Rugrats. Yeah. Um... So yeah, it's basically the Powerpuff Girls try to turn the tables on Princess so that she can have crimes Ill illegal again. So that's what this video is about. So what this episode is about, actually. <laughs> Bubble. Next up we have Bubble Vision, which is one of my favorites, where Bubbles gets glasses and it is pretty cute. It has some of those references to some jokes. It's kind of like one of those fibber, well, not fibber, teasable episodes where the Powerpuff Girls tease one another for what they look like. Um, they did this with the main event where Bl Bubbles and Buttercup um, tease Blossom for her hair because it was messed up. So, it's enjoyable. I really also love the reference to Arthur's Eyes, where Buttercup literally uses Francine Frensky's joke. <laughs> I thought that was clever. And, yeah, it's a cute episode. I would put it up there with Bubble Vicious and um, Mine for a Change is one of the best bu Bubbles episodes. Then we get one of my favorite episodes that I started liking, Jewel of the Isle where this robber tries to get a jewel from a cereal box and has to disguise himself as this, you know, Trix Rabbit character named Lucky Captain Rabbit King. So I thought it was legit funny and some of the jokes are pretty great. So that's pretty much my father about it. I even have that same episode on a recorded tape that I have which is CCF hosted by Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls. So that's pretty cool. And then we get probably not really the best episode of the Powerpuff Girls, but whatever, it's okay. Collect Her, where 
this guy tries to collect every single Powerpuff Girls merchandise and then he actually kidnaps the Powerpuff Girls in little boxes. So who saves the day? The city of Townsville. The the people of Townsville decided to go to their like his house and stop him from doing anything. So yeah, it's weak, but it's really enjoyable for what it's worth. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I, the only downside is, I wish this could have been a Dexter's Laboratory episode. You know, switch it up. Have um, the same dude, you know, kidnap Dexter and put him in, like, a science kit and collect all of the science merchandise and then have Dee Dee teach him the ways of collecting stuff. That could have been a good episode, but that's just my opinion. And then after that, we get a bonus Time Squad bonus cartoon. Time Squad is a Cartoon Network show that came out around this time. You know, about these two robots and one and the kid travel back in time from people's history and tries to save, help them realize the wrong that they're doing or I don't know I haven't watched the show and the episodes of Time Squad is Dishonest Ape where they try to help Abraham Lincoln do the fix the wrong of his days um it's silly you know and Tom Kenny voice you know Abraham Lincoln is pretty good so I really do enjoy that so yeah you have all these really good episodes um I've really grown to really like this tape, and the reason I really like this tape is basically the bonus content on this tape. You know, I'll talk about that right now. Um, so after Bought and Skull, you get a sneak preview of Samurai Jack, the premiere movie created by Gendy Tart Tartakowski. And, you know, Samurai Jack's a really good show, you know. And I do have the premiere movie on VHS. So that's pretty cool. Excuse me. And then, after Bubble Vision, you get a smorgasbord of really cool stuff. That's the reason why I've grown to like this. And I'll tell you what it is. Um, so first, you get a Cartoon Network bumper with Mojo Jojo. Um, being on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. It's really funny, you know, because Mojo's trying to think. And, you know, it's pretty cute. I really like, um, I forgot the voice actor's name. Doug Pierce? I think I'm saying his name right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but he's really good, you know. I think he's one of my favorite Cartoon Network voice announcers, in my opinion. And then after that, you get a Powerpuff Girls music video, that being Signal in the Sky by Apples and Stereo. I actually have that same music video on my Cartoon Network, Cartoon Cartoon Friday's holiday special from 2000. And also um, the Cartoon Network Primetime DVD R, which is kind of cool. And then after that, you get a probably the holy grail of this tape, you get a sneak preview of the Powerpuff Girls movie with Craig McCracken, um, Kathy Cavadini, Tara Strong, and E.G. Daly talking about the movie and the characters. And that's the kind of the whole reason I wanted to like get this VHS tape autographed. Because I actually have that um, Canadian VHS that's autographed by the voice actress of Bubbles there, Tara Strong. Because I love younger Tara, <laughs> you know. I enjoy younger Tara back in the day. You know, I think she looks pretty good. And, you know, I love her work a lot. <laughs> and then after the Collect Her, you also get some other cool stuff. One, you get a, another Cartoon Network bumper where um, the villains of the Powerpuff Girls go on anger management and it's legit funny. There's some good moments in that commercial. It I think it came out around the same time as when Sheep in the Big City came out because they do have that Cartoon Network 
tagline, Cartoon Network, the best place for cartoons. And then after that, you get a promo for CartoonNetwork.com. Um, I think you can see right there where this kid dresses up like a little mouse icon and the guy's forcing him to do all these things. It was also featured in my Dexter's Laboratory Greatest Adventures VHS tape in the beginning. So, yeah, I still, like I said, I really enjoy this VHS of the Powerpuff Girls Meet the Beatles. It holds up perfectly. So, yeah. If you guys like these episodes of the Powerpuff Girls and we're seeing this ep these episodes on my VHS tape, Leave the leave a comment down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you real soon, folks.